Praise the alicorns! Um, oh. Hey, everypony. New Leaf here. And today we're here for more Starbound. And I have a new weapon, which is the Twily Cane. And it just lets me throw canes. And and you have this dash, which knocks back things for a mile. Anyway, we're going to start things off by going to the first boss of... Or no, not the first boss, but the, but the first big fight of today. And the second thing that I want to take care of is... Either we're going to land on a lava planet, or I'm going to start by getting into space stations, which we have not touched upon in this playthrough. And it's another interesting thing you can do. If you don't want to, like, build um, villages on a planet, you can have a whole station inside of space and just basically build your home there. It's a little more expensive, but it's a lot more... Um, you have a lot more possibilities of what you can do. Um, anyway, let's go to... Um, yeah, let's just go to the, um, Mini Knock Stronghold. I was thinking of which weapons to bring, but I'm just gonna bring what I have. We don't have to think too much. But I should be able to, if things go right, should be able to afford a staff, every pony, A good staff. We don't have any of that. We didn't get a lot of luck from that. So, um, I guess you can talk a little bit about this boss specifically, because in terms of all boss fights, to me, this is what I consider to be the the one with the best story so far. But I told you last time all these are like people being basically overlorded by some fake uh, leader. And these are a bunch of rebels, and we're basically the reinforcements and have to help them win the fight. And we do that by going um, down here and weakening the defenses of the ponies or monkeys that are, like, defending this. So we're co covered ponies slash, um, what do you even call that? We're sa saboteurs, every pony. I think that's what that's called. Do not enter. Oh, really? A sign? Huh. I never listen to instructions. A sign is definitely not very convincing. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do when Princess Cadence comes around? Let's mess with this guy. <laughs> Fly to victory! Oh boy. Yeah, this is the most fun I've ever had. Oh, new leaf. Keep it together. We still have this spear thing. You missed, friend. You missed. Oh, this allows us to go down. But this area is one of two that has a special translation inscription, which is a book. That tells you how to um, translate some ancient language that we're gonna run into later, every pony. And yes, this game does have a post end game. Like if you beat the final boss of this, there's still gotta be more stuff that opens up to you. But do we want to go there? This is a linked circuit. Lowering the barricade has lowered a corresponding one above. And now look at this. These guys are getting pummeled upon by our own friends. Oh wait, we can scan these lights, can we? Scan the gates, scan the buttons, scan everything. We may have to build buttons at some point. Oh, seriously. Even electronics, like in Minecraft, where there's redstone, exist in this game. Oh, no. Nope. Really? Toothpick! Let's give ourselves some light prop abilities. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you gonna do? What is it that you're gonna do to me? Oh, we can use this. How much damage is that? That's a decent amount. Got him. Yeah, I like that. Oh, speaking of damage, though, we're taking a lot. I do have more healing equipment than usually, but that's because I upgraded the medicine station. This is 100, but it does it in one second compared to this. It doesn't do anything about status effects, though. Ooh, light. Now we can go this way. Oh, what's in here? Oh, look at how epic the music is. I like this. Now, this is interesting. Budget allocation proposal. It tells you all about what their expenses are for. So, it says social unity, uh, unity re-education. So, they're indoctrinating things. Broadcasting things about their leader. Suppressing the rebels so they know that they have rebels to statement number two. And, of course, research and development. So they have been doing everything to research something in secret, creating big ape 
and re-educating their people based of it. So this is some really huge elaborate scheme, everypony. Now the big question is, what have they been researching? What have they been building? We're gonna find out what it is. Arrgh. Come on, new leaf reload. Oh no, wrong one. Eh, eh. Got him. Oh, we have to go up here. There's a single guy up there. Bye. It actually did get me. I didn't think they were gonna have what it takes to get me. Oh, I see that. There's a little capsule with bits. Trigger this, open that switch, and there's a bunch of stuff that I can scan. Very nice. Ooh. We also haven't upgraded our armor in a while. Hope that's not going to get the best of me. And these little sensors, you can of course also build these for your constructions. Oh no, what's this? I can't read and fight these at the same time. Another barricade, which is sustained by a shield generator. Oh! I can just hold you down, right? Poke! Ha, <laughs> got it. What's this? Oh yeah, this leads down to the scientific stuff that they've been going on. Look at this, there is like little... Um, green tubes filled with um, people from their specimen and look at this they're deformed creatures so they have been trying to create a super um, monkey as, as you may want to call it and these are all the failed experiments and of course this is what they have been trying to hide from their society because no society is gonna stay stable when they know that there is um, science, science experiment being carried out on their own fellow creatures in this um, inhumane way. But it does also undermine faith when you know that they're creating a leader who's basically fake just to hide all of this. But this does remind you of a certain government type, does it, every pony? Touch this, and I think that allows us to go up. Huh? No. But there's doors that open. I know you can enter in some some parts of this. Oh yeah, this thing. Huh? Oh, there's a switch here that it can push. Oh, now we can get through. Never mind, we still can't get through. Can I shoot that? Nope, I can't shoot it. But there is a spot down here that I can enter. Another cool thing that you can scan. It reacts to sound. So if I start shooting, is it gonna give me something? A visor? Would that look cool on me? No. I guess it would be cool for a human. But seriously, I can't imagine this being important. Let's see, does it react to sound if I like shoot? No. Oh, come on. Let's just get out of here. Alright, Big Ape, is that their general? I'll find you. I'll show you who the real leader of this universe is. Or... Maybe, because, you know, Alicorns. Alright. Ready to fight. But what's over here? Nothing? Huh? Oh, I can push this. And enemies spawn, and we can't leave until we've killed enough of these. So this weapon does a lot of damage, but we better make sure we do not miss. If we do miss... Look at look at how slow the attacking speed is. We do not get a lot of leeway. Oh boy, I missed. Oh no. I did miss. Ah! Oh no, it's more of these. That's fine. As long as it can keep accurately hitting things, we're in the clear. Oh, I missed that. Perfect. There's there's stuff stuck over there. 
Got it. Nice. Batteries. I guess he could use them. Oh, did we do it? But there's more stuff over there. I love how there is a trap underneath here as well. Look, oh look, they're generals even on this checkpoint. Oh, you know I'm coming. And just like last episode where they told us that their leader may have amassed a lot of stuff and riches. Look at this place. I need to finish what I need you to finish what we started. We took out their defenses, but she's wounded. Oh boy, it's fine. You'll make it. Um, but you know this looks sort of royal. In that case, New Leaf is gonna scan everything. What's this do? What is this blue thing? A jump boost. I guess we could use that. Why not? Get this. Can I? Yes, I can. So, what's our weapon gonna be? Is it gonna be the cannon? I think it's gonna be the cannon. Oh, look at this! Look at this picture! Look at the reference to the... To the... To the, well, human equivalent of this. I like this. This is the kind of detail that I like about Starbound. Is they, they really... They really do everything to make sure you do run into Easter eggs. Even even the bombs are an Easter egg, every pony. Even the bombs. If you didn't notice, look at these bombs here. These are just like bomb bombs from uh, Super Mario, every pony. And there's a lot more you can discover. Okay, there's nothing up here, but as you can see, up ahead is the the boss or their big ape, every pony, and we are gonna discover who really is pulling the strings behind them. Let's get this, get this thing going. And Big Ape is nothing more than a projection. Oh no. Whoa, New Leaf, get out your dodging pants because you're going to need them. Oh, I miss everything today. And this is only his first phase. We shouldn't be messing up this. Oh, that got a good, good chunk of health. Eh. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to work with flight here. Otherwise, this is gonna be a long, long day. Which is the one that I've gotten so far? Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right. No. New leaf. You gotta hit this one. If it's the last thing you do, land that. Nice. And now, every time he loses one of his projectile project projectors, not projectiles, but there's also projectiles on the screen. He, he does this, and it does a lot of damage as well. Oh no. No! Knock it off! We're taking so much damage from this thing. Yeah! A thousand damage. That's nice. And he goes back to doing this. Yeah! Got it. Oh, we're, we're doing well now. We're doing very well. Come on, Leaf. Eat. We're out of energy. Oh, no. No, no. New, new, new Leaf, you better hit this. Did we? Look at our health. Look at our health. It doesn't get closer than that. Oh, my Celestia. <laughs> but you see, it was all a projection. It was all fake. And these monitors were basically just projections of stuff that he did. So... Like I said, Big Ape is all fake. What does it say? This device is meticulously engineered to launch fists with great force. There's nothing up there. And in here is... A diamond? Iron! Why would there be iron in here? We didn't need iron in ages. The projection and ballistic. Oh, it's ta talking about the thing that we just fought and the weapons, because it... It was a projection shirt, but all the stuff they shot at us obviously was real. Eh. And in here is their lab, and where they make all the weird people. Look, the Ministry of Knowledge. Interesting. Well done, soldier. Thanks to you, this was all worth it. Because of you, the strong fool has fallen. What, what is this thing? It's very distracting. Oh, this is what you're here for? Take it. Soldier, I'd like to help you. I think you've earned some assistance. I have skill that may be useful to you. Okay then, miss. But wait, a radioactivity sign. Oh, that's a hazard, biohazard. You have to remember biohazard and um, radioactivity sign look quite different. Strong titanium door. We're going to scan everything. 
A lava lamp? Scan that. I'd like a lava lamp. But every pony, if there's one thing you want to know about engineering, I actually... Well, I just don't make the fake lava lamps. You can make them with real lava, every pony. Wait, how do we get in here? Oh, I have to... I probably should be picking up the thing I came in here for in the first place. And it is a strand of DNA, presumably of the apex? I see on the other side. And we have gotten a apex friend. Um, I can't get any into any of the other rooms. Oh well, let's go back. Let's go back, every pony. But this went really, really well. But I have to say the cannon is a little broken. It does a lot of damage. It may be tough to use, but a thousand damage per shot may be a little overkill. I mean, if it just did like 400 or so per shot, that would be pretty nice. Raise the purple! Oh my gosh. Look at all these... Look at all these, these canes. This is awesome. I like this weapon. It's probably the funnest one to use. Next, we're going to have to use Glitch Clues. We're not going to work with that until next time, every pony, because I want to do some more exploration. Okay, the question is, how far did I get in time in this one episode? So since we're 16 minutes in, I don't immediately want to rush things. I think we have plenty of time to make a special equipment, which is the, uh, the, the cooling EPP upgrade. Right? Please tell me we have enough. We should have. Um... But what if I don't? Wait, what if I actually don't have enough to make that? Uh, I may be short by like two pieces of of rosium. Because we have everything else. We literally have everything else. Oh, that would throw a huge wrench into my plans though. But it is probably the only thing that I'm missing. Yep. Oh, we need a he heating EPP, but I have that on my... Wait. But I have that on my back, don't I? Huh? Am I going crazy? Oh, this is a cooling one. That's right, I did that. Every pony, I am forgetful. <sighs> I, I already made this thing. I made this in between episodes. Ah. Mm. <sighs> I swear, every pony, if my head was something that you could take off, I may have already forgotten that in, in some place. Anyway, every pony, we are gonna land on a fiery planet without further ado, every pony. Seriously, that was enough derpiness for a few moments. Sheesh! Volcanic, scorched, lava. Let's go to one that has volcanic, and maybe we can find an asteroid belt. Asteroid belts are fun. Scorch can also be nice. I see we're gonna go to one that has volcanic lava and scorch. It has arctic, which is perfect. And let's see what we see. Maybe we're even gonna find a space station. We haven't found one that allows us to create our own station yet, but be warned if you want your own space station, you're gonna need 100 pieces of titanium. You're gonna have to do a lot of mining. Hey, Metalush. Um. I think she was worried, because it was gone and fought this this um, projector thing, was which was like ten times my side, but it was all fake at the end of the day. But this weapon is really cool. I, I like it. The way that it makes bling sounds, and then it just unleashes total devastation. But I guess this puts a totally new meaning to the sentence of taste the rainbow. There's too much to taste. It's an aggressive taste that will blow your mind. Uh, there's no um, station here. All right, every pony. What do we go? Lava, scorched, or volcanic? I want to see a volcanic planet. Now keep in mind, we are still looking for the ingredients for this. We need five ferrosium, six solarium, and solarium is the new ore, and it is sort to say the penultimate ore. But you also need to have the previous ores as well to upgrade things. Let's see if I can find a good example of that. Is it done like this as well here? Huh? 
I remember for the human armor, it was like this that you needed the previous armor as well to make that. Oh, Ferosium. We don't even need Ferosium if we can straight up go for this. But we need 28 and 12. We need 40 pieces of ore to get this armor. That's definitely something I'm doing in between episodes. I'm not torturing you with, with a huge, huge mining tour. That's not happening. Um... There's no ore that I could immediately ditch, but we're gonna store some things. My inventory is clogging up, and I'm prone for this in survival games. I'll be the one who's always, eh, my inventory is full. Eh, I probably shouldn't have picked up all this junk, but still my inventory is full, and I may need it. <sighs> there, there always is someone like that. There always is someone who, who thinks storing everything is the best way to play a game. Let's, let's go in here as well. Um, Timmy, you're standing in front of the box. I need to get in there. Let's put all this stuff in. Batteries. Oh my gosh, there's so much junk in here. Oh, there's two um, types of ores. There is some silver and some gold ore that I'm definitely going to put into here. Put this in, refine it. And there you go. That's 32 for one. And I think gold is worth even more. But of course, the more valuable the ore is, the more stuff that you'll be getting out. And you can... You can go ahead and keep mining gold from the asteroids and basically own the world. Now, volcanic planets. Abby Pony, as someone who has, dare I say, almost perfected fire magic, this is one of my favorite planets. See? Even fire can't touch me. But it is dangerous, as you see. You need to be very afraid. Oh, inventory problems. <sighs> but this is gonna be a very nice planet because you can gather lava every pony I guess you should wait that is new wasn't it? that used to not do damage to you but it doesn't do a lot just be careful because lava is dangerous if you don't know how to handle it properly which you should because the pony making this stuff has taken quite a lot of time to make it safe and everything Get close to him when he does that, and we're fine. Oh, what's this? We haven't used this on the new creatures? Urgh, barrel. <laughs> There's a certain glory just shooting this and seeing the three zeros, which essentially equip is the equivalent of we've just completely annihilated something. Bye! That's enough too, actually. <laughs> oh, can we hit that? We can hit that, whatever that was. Innocent creature. Get it. Bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. We have to be careful where you land in this place. Unfortunately, there is no underground or, or planet like with the Arctic where you can just like dive underneath water and just immediately be greeted by caves. No such thing, you have to go down the hard way. Speaking of down the hard way, there's a treasure and I'm getting it. Can we get down there without burning? Actually, let's get rid of the lava. Now we can get down. Ah! That got me for more damage than I'd like. Please let it be some of the new ore. My Celestia, the fire's a little bit antsy today. But it suits me. I think fire has my personality as anything. If anything ever did, considering the elements. Praise the purple. Wait, can I go in here? Volcano! You have to be careful. If you if you don't have the ability to, like, roll... Oh my gosh, I just pushed myself into the lava willingly. Oh my. New Leaf, focus, please. All right, what's in this? Really, just just cosmetics. Of course, I just came down here for a bunch of cosmetics. Why wouldn't I? There's an egg. I could turn this into an omelet in here. Omelet made by lava is probably one of my favorite recommendations. If there is some, you know, culinary things you've ever wanted to try and you have a special and acquired taste, try cooking with lava. It will give you some very amazing flavors. 
Oh. Just like this does. <laughs> Got him. Eh. And the lava, to me, has some very interesting properties in this game because you can use it to peacefully raid villages. You can kill all the creatures in a village and they will not attack you if it's done with lava. Hey, buddy! I think you missed. <laughs> that has to be one of the best ways to kill someone. I mean, we're throwing alicorns at someone. That can't be good. Oh, my. Oh, this is a midnight biome, like from the midnight planets from last time. <gasps> this is... A rocket launcher? Should we have that? I'd love a, um, another wand, though. What is this? Innocent creatures? Should we damage them? That's not a question. We do it anyway. But there is a um, lore. I don't know if this is true, but it is confirmed that these are decayed frogs, every pony. But I don't know if that's actually real or if that's just hoax. Got him. We're clean. Oh no. That thing actually survived. Let's fix that. Pronto! Did he have anything? He had a few pixels, but nothing more. Oh, really? What are you, even? What's that supposed to be? He's wearing his eye on his tail. That can't be good. I mean, what if you're running through a bunch of dust, huh? That's gonna put dust in your eyes and you're gonna go blind. Oh, a merchant. This is a merchant. Um, I didn't do anything to the people here. Promise. Um, I'm going away. Oh, look, it's Apex. Um, do I need anything from these guys? Alright, oh, Solarium. That's right, the new ore. And there we have our first pieces of Solarium. Come on, game. Please be lucky with me. Oh, that's right. That's right. Is that... That's a staff. Awesome. Immediately putting this in my inventory. Screw the rocket launcher. Oh, no. Oh, this is just a enhanced version of the toothpick that we had, like I called it. Oh, a fashion item. We can sell this. We can sell this for lots of bits. Bananas. This stuff. And these are rebels, every pony. Like earlier, we had um, rebels that we helped, and this is basically what a rebel camp looks like versus the towns where we got our intel from, which is where people are sort of brainwashed and basically living by the rules. Now, one thing that it hasn't been implemented, which I guess would be a lot of effort, but I think it would be cool. What if ponies were a race that had their own villages? That would be... that'd be a heck ton of fun. Ah! Everything's burning. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit of fun when everything's burning. Let's get through this... through the section of the wall. Because there's a chest. I'm not stealing! An energy pickaxe! Oh, this is something I have to show to you. An energy pickaxe is probably one of the best tools to mine with. Let's let's put this in our inventory. I want to show this. Um, and you can basically just keep mining everything with this pickaxe and it never wears out. It's, it's basically like a light, lightsaber and you just basically point at anything that you want to mine and you can go anyway. Why are you taking things that aren't yours, huh? I made this ground. You want to fight me, buddy? You're the wrong pony. You want to pick a fight with him. I'm on fire. I should probably be threatening someone at least while I'm on fire like that. But that would make me appear even more threatening. Imagine a pony comes up to you, burning, and he's like, You better not fight me. You think twice about getting into a hoof fight with him, right? Look at that. Everything is just burning away. There's not even any solarium to be had in this. We only got four pieces of solarium from this place. That is a letdown, every pony. That is a massive, massive letdown. 
Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna find the Solarium the hard way in this case. Um, I see we're just gonna teleport back and dig down. Or do we need a lot? How much do I need for the staff? I, I just want the staff. I'm not going for the armor today. just want the staff. And the next time around, we're probably gonna try and get a space station going. Jeez, everything's burning. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's more solarium. That's four pieces. I think we need six or eight. I'm not entirely certain of that. Um, this way? Let's go over here. Let's go and interact with this. More modules. There's nothing down there. Look at how huge this village is, though. Oh, look, there's another hat. Oh, we can't even get another? Fine. But this is everything. Yep, we done. All right, then. So I'll see if I can... Wait. Oh, oh there's a flag here? Why would I need that? Mm. It's fine. Besides, they're probably going to be pissed anyway. I just came through here. <laughs> but why would they put their building on a volcanic planet with everything being wood, huh? It's like building a wooden house in the, in the nether in Minecraft and then wondering why things start to light up somehow. <sighs> Alright. I have... Oh, I have a lot of solarium. Is that enough to make it? That is. We just need six ferrosium. Alright, I'm gonna really quickly get some from the uh, ocean planet. And done. So, I was down there and got a few ores and now... I have enough for the Ferrosium Staff. Let's use this baby. This is easily, easily my favorite weapon ever. I want to get rid of... Oh, this talks about rebels. Right. Just get rid of this. And now let's take a look at that Ferrosium Staff. My favorite weapon ever because it has two super useful abilities. The first is... Um, Wait, I just realized we don't have a testing range. You know what, every pony? I think I can make a testing range. Can I build targets, maybe? There has to be. There has to be targets that you can build, or at least um, a punching bag or something, right? Let's see. Tar. No. Nope. But I do have an empty room that I can work with, I guess, and we can use this to showcase stuff. I was gonna turn this place into a shower, but the first one is this. We can have five swords, and the second is... Let's see, do we have a test pony? Pinky! Look at this. I can trap ponies in it. Heh <laughs> Wait, Pinky... Pinky just teleported. Well, 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 Pinkie Pie is breaking the world again. But Pinky, are you ever safe from being trapped? And you can keep trapping ponies over and over. Like, even if you're playing with another pony who's sitting next to you, you can just basically trap them in there for an eternity. But it gets better. It gets even better than this. Because not only is this a trap for a creature, but you can actually use them as platforms. Like, if there's a pool of lava and you need to cross it, you can just put down one of these and walk over. It is that easy. It is so useful, every pony. So I have enough modules as well for an upgrade of the spaceship, which I've collected. I want to do that now and just see how big it gets. Um, there. Now, if I have a shower room, what other rooms would I like on my spaceship, every pony? We don't have a gaming room on my on my spaceship, every pony. <gasps> that could be horrible. Every pony's gonna get bored. But wait, every pony, are you ready for Leaf Logic? We're gonna try something. We're, we're gonna try something. You remember this thing that I wasn't able to do last time? We're gonna try that. <laughs> I'm gonna try this again and just simply go ahead and float through this without the help of a spaceship. You gotta be able to do this. Come on, let's get out of this. this. Wait, what? I can actually fly through this? Oh, this changes things. This changes things. We can just shoot this.
Get rid of it. Come on. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Nice. Laser down leaf. Eh. Come on, leaf. Oh, we're just gonna need this. Oh boy. You know what? We're just gonna go over here and wait there. No. Oh. Eh. All right, everybody. We're back here, and I definitely think we should at least use the robot to deal with the gates. Otherwise, it's gonna get a little weird. But I also want to have a different weapon. I want to have this instead of the Twilight Cane for the duration of this. Because once I'm past all the gates, I can, of course, just leave this and fly to the end. And splash. Just get rid of all these. Now, I think there's... yeah, there, there's a bunch of enemies sitting on the walls up here. Yeah, yeah, you come over here. Oh, look at this guy. He's just camping in here. He's just, he's just camping. Oh, boy. Saw blades? Who puts saw blades into space? That's the, that's the most unspace thing I can imagine. Saw blades. Get that. Come on, Leaf. Another gate that we couldn't otherwise get past. Oh yeah! We gotta go this way. And there's targets, we're just gonna get those, we're gonna ignore everything else the game does to us. I'm taking a lot of damage being out here. Ooh. That exploded. That's right, that's a space creeper, every pony, but it didn't touch me. I can get out for this. Hello? Would you be interested in tasting a bunch of rainbows? I don't think they're very interested. But rainbows are awesome. Just make sure to not actually taste them, every pony. As they'll seriously give you uh, flavors that will um, make you taste spices that just feel uncomfortable, every pony. It'll make your face glow red, teary eyes, and everything. It's the ultimate spice. Oh, no, 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 no. You get, you get over here. I'm just gonna put you into this corner. What are you gonna do about it? I'm just gonna sit you in this corner. And you can't fight. How's that make you feel? Alright, we're just gonna go in here. Fire all this stuff. Fire away this. Oh my. Those missiles are supposed to be guided, by the way. They're not hitting Jack. Oh, look at this. This isn't horrible, every pony. We can just go out here now. Oh. But what if I'm a rebel? Oh, no, 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 no. This is actually gonna come in here. This is actually gonna come in before I get me. No! Oh, he missed me. My gosh, every pony would luck. You know what? When the going gets rough, the alicorn can't rely on the silly robots to do the fighting. Because I'm sitting in a robot, too, and I would be better at... Ooh, really, are you dead now or not? Now, I'll use this and just... See, we don't need a lot of damage to fight this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. What's happening? One more. Go this way. Oh wait. What's happening? Is there is there a target that I missed? Oh, there's a target up here that I didn't get. Move, 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 move. Get away from that. Alright. Did we win? We did make it! Oh we got in here without this this thing. <laughs> Every pony, you didn't really think I was going to make it to the finish line with this thing. It's a robot. You know I don't like them. Pixel li likes them on the other end. You could probably get him to ride in one of these two, but me? I only go in these because you can make me do that. Anyhow, what's a reward for sitting in a smelly robot? New mech parts, and that's literally everything. Now you can have an advanced mech and... Ride through space with it, so to say. Um, where am I at for time, even? Yikes, I'm actually all out of time. I was gonna do so much, but I think next time around, we're gonna explore the space station, but I will leave this episode on the fact that our, our uh, spaceship has a whole nother floor, every pony, and we can decorate that next time. But, every pony, I suppose, with that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And remember, every pony, 
there is no shame in having a plushie and liking it really much, because plushies are awesome and they're pretty good to hug if no pony is around. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified whenever there's a new video and there's new stuff here every single day, uh, including an alicorn that loves a good night's sleep.